Okay, so now we're in the last life cycle stage. Again, some would argue this is the most important one. It's the operate, or the validate stage. And this is where Apshara continues to outshine anything else that's there. Because we've we tie all these stages together. This isn't yet another tool. This isn't like Nagios over here or Solar Winds or What's Up Gold or HPNA or Spectrum, or whatever it is people are using in the operate stage. No, this is still AOS. And this isn't a model of your network. This is your actual network. In real time, AOS addresses whether or not the network is performing the way I want it to. And that's another way of describing intent. What is your intent? It's the way I want my network to behave. If it doesn't perform that way, I'm going to let you know. If it does, then I'm going to leave you alone. I'm not going to send you a bunch of false positives and just dump you a bunch of information that you'll look at later. No, no. I, I will tell you if the network is behaving. If, it, if you don't hear from me, then things are good. Okay, but let's show you some things. Okay, first of all, so this is what the, the main screen is. This is your dashboard. Okay, well, now we're, we're live, right? And, and these are all the parameters we're monitoring. So while I explain these, let me just break a couple things because it becomes much more interesting when you break things. Because when everything's green, you can't really prove stuff, okay? So this is just my Cloud Labs modeling. It's going to break things in a little bit. And I'm actually making a config change, too, to show you uh, some interesting things there, too, okay? So these are all the things we monitor, like liveness. You know, everybody does that, fine. But, then, but keep in mind, this is via agents that sit on the switch, okay? This is not SNMP polling. We put, during the ZTP process that we went through before, we install agents on the switch, okay? And these agents are constantly validating whether or not the switch is behaving the way you hope it would, okay? And then we report back only when there are anomalies, like we're seeing right now. There seems to be a problem, okay? There seems to be a routing problem. So here's something that people don't really monitor that much. We're monitoring the routing table because we know what the routing table is supposed to look like. We know there's supposed to be 1,000 routes or 100 routes, whatever the number is. And if there's 101, we're going to let you know. If there's 99, we're going to let you know. If there's 100, we'll say everything's fine, okay? We also look at uh, BGP status, obviously, right? So this is, I mean, yes, the up downs and all the layer two stuff that we look at, but also we go deeper into the whole fabric to make sure it's behaving the way it is. So let's just see how an outage just, just happened. And we go through here. Now we're down here in the node status. And you see the bigger the circle, the more problems that device has. Okay, so it looks like spine one has some problems here. Uh, and then these leaves have some problems. So I don't know what's going on. So we can drill down on any of these, okay? Um, but whenever I see a cabling problem, that gets me, um, you know, my, my, my worries up. So let's see, if we go to physical here, we can see this whole thing has got issues, right? So, so if you go to the anomaly page, you'll see that we're expecting something, okay? And the difference is that something's down, okay? So if you look here, the expected is up and the actual is down. And what is that? It's BGP, okay? So that's not good, right? Uh, so if we double click on one of these guys, um, sorry, it didn't work. And we go into here, this shows you the physical cabling, okay? We show you what's present and what's absent. Because remember, we know the way it's supposed to be cabled. Well, look at here. It looks like these cables were cross wired for some reason, okay? And we can do this in the beginning, but we can also do this all the time. Somebody knocked out a cable and maybe put it in the wrong way. Okay, this is actually a really hard thing to find if you think about it, right? Because the interfaces are still up. See these up arrows are still up, but we don't make them green because they're not up in the right way. They should be cabled the right way, okay? So that's an example of some telemetry that we're providing based on your intent. See, red violating your intent, okay? So let me just get rid of that one back here. Um, because I want to show you what we also monitor for is if people make changes and they don't tell you about it. Okay, so now we're not taking away AOL, we're not taking away um, your command line, all right? People would freak out. Now, maybe when you're more comfortable, we can just, you know, click that button and, and take away command line or overwrite if somebody changes something. Right now, we don't. What we do is we alert. Somebody made a change, so what happened? Well, config deviation, we see. Uh, okay, so let's just take a look at the config. Okay, so da 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 da. Aha, uh -huh, somebody did something. Okay, in this case, they added a route. All right, now that's running right now, and, and, and if you're comfortable, then we can just press another button and say, get rid of the change you just saw. But in the interim, uh, we don't do that. Okay, so that is the configuration change, and I'll try to back out that guy while we're still talking here. 
okay, and go back to your dashboard, and things are resolving. It takes a little bit with LDP and whatnot to, to converge, and you'll see everything back goes to green, okay? So, so that, that, that's the end, really. We showed you design, build, deploy, and operate, and we automate all of them in one closed loop way. This is the way automation systems work, okay? Self-driving cars, uh, autopilots on planes, okay? And we do it in a vendor agnostic way. We're not gonna ever say, well, this only works on Cisco, this only works on Aristo, okay? Now, you may have some parameters that you wanna use, and we have ways to deal with that through configlets, which we didn't really go through. So if you wanna say, hey, by the way, I wanna use lands on Aristos, it's kinda of cool. Well, we have ways to deal with that too. So you don't have to think that, you know, we're, it's the least common denominator, which automation systems get the bad rap for. And so we have ways to deal with that as well. Okay, so we showed you the design, the build, the deploy, and the operate, and we automated all of them. And we do it in a vendor agnostic way. And we treat the network like a distributed system that it is, not this box by box thing that people have been doing for decades. And we're just getting started. As our founder, David Sheridan, said, we built a skyscraper. Well, we're building one. And the foundation literally took years to build. But now we're on the third or fourth floor. We're targeting the data center network. But think about this. Why can't we do the same exact thing what I showed you today and in the other videos? Why can't I do that for firewalls? Why can't we do that for load balancers? or go out to the WAN, or in the campus. There's no reason we can. And there's a ton of stuff I haven't even showed you yet that we have today, we can ship today. This is just a quick synopsis of what we're doing for your network, or how we're automating it today, okay? So drop a note to sales at after.com and let's have a chat.